Deadly Spider is a brand new Iranian film that's written and directed by Ali Abbasi. So, Holy Spider is a film that I've been highly anticipating for such a long time. I didn't know that this film existed when I made my top 10 most anticipated films of 2022 video, so it's not on there. But as soon as I was informed there was going to be a new Ali Abbasi film this year, I was immediately stoked for it. And I got even more excited once I heard more about the premise, which is inspired by a true story about this serial killer that goes on a spree of killings and ends up murdering over 16 prostitutes in Iran. The only other Ali Abbasi film that I've seen before Holy Spider is a film called Border, which I really dug. Uh, it's definitely a bizarre and out there movie that's very unforgiving, but it was just my cup of tea. I really dug that movie. And now after seeing Holy Spider, I'm just gonna come out and say it. This film was fucking phenomenal. This film was incredible from start to finish. It's dark, it's atmospheric, it's brutally honest, it's socially relevant, and it's just absolutely riveting and compelling filmmaking from start to finish. I mean, this film, right out of the gate, just sinks its teeth into you and has one of the best opening sequences that I've seen in such a long time, including the opening title card. Once that opening title card came on screen, I was just in awe. Like, I knew that I was going to be in for something incredible. This film really does immediately hook you, and sometimes, even for films I love, I tend to slightly criticize for not having much of a hook because they kind of demand a little bit of your patience before things start getting really interesting. Not the case with this film. This film immediately gets your attention and is incredibly visceral and so purposeful for what it's doing, and it just completely sets the tone and atmosphere for everything else that you're going to witness in this movie. And this is quite a heavy film in terms of subject matter, and it's unforgivably visceral from start to finish. And I say that as a compliment towards the movie and also a little bit of a warning towards anybody that is thinking about going to see this film because it is relentless with how it depicts uh, the, the serial killer and how it goes about murdering his victims. I mean, it truly goes out of its way to not only depict the kind of desperate situation that these women are in, but just how fearful that they were in these situations. And personally, these depictions of violence is crucial to what the film is going for. Because as the film progresses, the film starts to become more thematically rich, and it begins to express on a deeper level how religious views not only influence people's morals and the way that they think, but when religion is fused together with the government, it creates something that is not only clearly corrupt, but it's just so unbalanced in terms of the gender roles between men and women. To where in terms of morals collectively as a society, there's a large portion of people in terms of public opinion that tend to agree that perhaps prostitutes' lives are not really worth a damn. And it demonstrates so heartbreakingly well how the social acceptance of these religious ideas that are clearly immoral just deeply and negatively impacts children. It just does an excellent job at expressing the harsh truth about how these immoralities will continue to perpetuate through generations and generations. By the way, the main actress in this film that plays an incredibly integral character, which is a journalist character, uh, she goes by the name of Zar Amir Ebrahimi, probably birthed to that, but she is incredible in this film. And I'm really glad that she won Best Actress at the Cannes Film Festival because her performance here is quite demanding. I mean, she puts herself in certain situations where she really has to go to dark places to convey certain anxieties. I mean, there's a sequence in this film where she has to convey just pure life-threatening fear, and I think she absolutely killed it. I mean, there is that sequence alone is one of my favorite sequences in the film, and it's so intense. But yeah, I really loved her character in this film. Her character is absolutely essential to, again, shaking this whole case up and, you know, actually having some courage and bravery as opposed to everybody else around her to actually make things happen. And the actress herself actually fled Iran early in her life for a lot of the same reasons that we see depicted on screen. Because something got out about her personal life that isn't anybody's business, but, you know, in terms of the government and in terms of, again, the, the social pressures and what is socially accepted, her life there just became way too threatening and way too confined that she was basically forced to flee. And again, earlier I said that this was a socially relevant film because it is very timely to what's happening in Iran right now. I mean, my heart goes out to everybody that's involved in that women's Iranian movement and protest. And specifically, my heart goes out to Masa Amini, who is an Iranian woman that sparked this entire movement, who was brutally beaten and killed for the crime of wearing her hijab incorrectly. I just believe that what the women in Iran are doing right now is not only incredibly important for progress, but is so 
courageous and brave and I commend everybody that's involved in that. But in terms of character, one thing that I really appreciated from this film as well is that when it comes to the serial killer himself, I love how this film shows us what would kind of create this monster. And it's a combination of, again, as I mentioned earlier, religious beliefs. But it's also a product of somebody who has PTSD from war and is also obsessed with being a martyr. And the third act specifically gets really hard to watch, not because of graphic content or anything, but it's just because there's so much injustice occurring, like one after the other. But personally, I love how unforgiving this film was. I love how atmospheric it is. I love the musical score to this film. It's simple, but it's so effective. Um, the, the direction and the cinematography throughout it is incredibly intense with its suspense building. And again, it's acted wonderfully across the board. It's absolutely riveting from start to finish because of its directing and aesthetic presentation. It's riveting because of how it explores its important societal themes. It's riveting because of how these intense sequences are directed. And there's essentially nothing about this movie that I didn't fall in love with. So I'm going to give Holy Spider a 10 out of 10. Yeah, for me, this film was absolutely fantastic. I can't wait for this film to become more accessible for everybody else to watch it. I mean, it's intense. It's horrifying. It's vastly important more than ever. And I just have such an immense level of respect for Ali Abbasi as a filmmaker. Not only do I think he's a brilliant director at this point, but he's also, again, giving exposure to something that I feel like deserves a lot more light. But that's all i got to say about Holy Spider. If you really enjoyed what I had to say about the film, just give it a thumbs up and share it amongst your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated on more film-related content.